Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the new content update for Genshin Impact 1.4. And this is a pretty exciting one because it's pretty good for the overall health of the game. As you guys know, 1.4 has been so terrible. That's just it. That's literally it. It's just been so bad. No new updates, no new character, no nothing. Pretty boring. The only thing that was fun is the Windbloom Festival and it ended within two weeks. What's the point of that? Um, but now we have the Oceanid event, which is pretty good. We had fun in that. I showed you guys in my last video how to do it. Well, how to do one day of it. The rest is pretty much the same though. As well as this new update also has a new Archon Quest. In this Archon Quest, you, Luminar Aether, depending on which you chose as your main character, you go on this quest with Dainsleth to find the a certain eye or investigate some sort of weird contraption that's happening in a domain. And in this domain, there's a statue of the seven that has gone missing from a long time ago. And spoilers, I don't want to spoil anything. So if you guys want to play for yourself, please kick off of the video now. And let's move on. And in the statue of the Seven's hands is some sort of purple aura. It's being gathered from all around the place. I'm not sure what it is, but apparently it's toxic. It's hurting the person that was near it or anyone that's near it, really. And after you just go through the domain, you're going to find a boss. Uh, the boss's name is the Abyss Herald. I'm sure it's some sort of high class mage. Uh, or I don't know what it really is. It just looks like a powerful guard uh, Moving on from that you fight the abyss herald around three times first time in the domain the second time you fight it with Razor as well as the wolf of the north lupus surrounded by chains and it's bringing him down and not he's not able to bring out any power however the Abyss Herald underestimated the power of the Wolf of the North, yada yada yada, and you basically have to defeat the Abyss Herald by yourself. Anyways, you move on from that, you go looking for more of those eyes, I don't know what you're looking for exactly, until they actually show to you. Basically, there's an original Ruin Guard in so Tevat, they tell you a bunch of stories about him. They call him the Tyrant of Fury. You find his eye, you take it. Dainsleth actually keeps it for himself, saying he is the best one to keep it for protection. Anyways, you go back to the domain in which you initially found the Abyss Herald. You fight him one more time, and then suddenly, boom, pops out of nowhere Luminar Aether, and you two meet and reunite for the first time. A lot of questions are raised, a lot of things happen, but in the end, you know that your brother or sister is alive and well, but also they have plans to destroy the entirety of the vat. Not sure what that's about, but that's really exciting. So all in all, this was a good update, good healthy thing for the game. Very interesting, very fun. The story of the game is actually very well told other than, you know, you having to do resin and all this resin refresh stuff, fighting bosses again and again. I don't know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but the story itself is pretty good. So if you guys want to follow it, there is a manga as well. So if you guys want to get the whole story and everything, you can just read the manga. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. I'm going to leave you guys to watch the rest of it. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you've gotten to this point of the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one good behind it or rather these abyss mages likely fear something else much more than they do a painful all right we shouldn't waste too much time here wow is that there are no coincidences in the world just like your appearance in that tavern time is just waiting for those seeds forget it the connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by... Rather, they are both branches that have... Branches? Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed. Huh? Tyria? Really? The Abyss Order and Ruin Guards are left... Oh. Speaking of... Oh, right. 
As your guide, Paimon should explain a bit here. A long time ago, the nation of Kamria was... Huh? You have memories of being there, but that name... Hmm, is that so? Well, everyone has their secrets. But, if you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Kanria you saw, what was it like? I see. So your first memory after coming to this world... It seems your brother woke up first. And then your brother told you that the destruction of Kanria plunged the whole world into chaos. And that you two should leave this world called Tevat? The destruction of Kanria? He said that? That destruction you witnessed, that... It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Huh. So your brother must have understood this world better than you did, because he woke up first! And it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god who blocked your path. So you couldn't escape. Oh, Paimon knows this part really well! I understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world, you didn't know anything about Kanria. But now, since you have come to gain some understanding of Tevat, you are able to guess that the war you witnessed all those years ago must be the war that ended Kanria. Ah, if that's the case, you must have been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure. Before going to Mondstadt, you had just looked at some vague materials. Later, we managed to gather a whole bunch of old... So, the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Kanria so you could find your brother? Oh, yeah. You can travel around the Seven Nations to find the Seven. Well, I probably know more about Kanria than both of you. Kanria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them. It was a powerful nation, built purely by humans. An unprecedented... A nation? Later events unfolded just as you remember. It was all destroyed by gods. 500 years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to Kanya. The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed. How could that be? The history books don't say anything about that. Yes, well, continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our spirits. Let's keep moving. This base dropped a ta- Hmm. This talisman seems connect- Perhaps it really does con- But... Paimon can't read the- Engulf the faith of the enemy in flame. And bring glory to his highness, the prince. What? Is that- Loom of fate, initial operation. They- The abyss. Seem to be carrying out a large operation. It seems like they are still launching the operation. Or rather, are- Loom of fate? What's that? Is it literally a fate leak from the horrible feeling Paimon's been getting? Those eerie... So, Dane, what message does this talisman contain? I'm reading it now. Hmm. An ambi... How so? In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osile. The overlord of the Vortex? Do you mean that god in the ocean? What do they want with Osile? I know of your past heroics regarding Devalin, and I also know of the Abyss Order, though you may not have been aware of it at the time. You were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. Last time it was Venzi's old friend. This time it's a huge ancient god. The Abyss... Will the Abyss Order use their lies and dark magic to corrupt Osa... No. 
From the contents of the town, they won't just corrupt Osile's mind. They also plan to use the ancient... Is... that it? So wait, the Abyss Order wants to make some sort of cybernetic squid god of mess? Very few people today truly understand the civilization of Kanria. Though of course, the only the Abyss Order has consistently sought out the remnants of Kanria. The talisman's message states that they will use the defiled statue as a base, and the new core that shall replace the orb usually held by the statue of the seventh. The eye of the very first field tiller. <sighs> it would seem so. This whole thing keeps getting more comp. Yes. According to the talisman, the eye should be placed in the head, thereby imbuing the newly born god with the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Oh boy, the abyss. Hmm. Since no one knows where the first field tiller is, how about we take the information about the statue as the starting point for our investigation? Yeah, that tone deaf bard is too difficult to track down anyway. Let's go to the cathedral. The cathedral? Huh? Nothing. Huge statue. A grandiose cathedral. The people of Mondstadt. But how aware of this was the animal Archon on receiving this gift? Faith doesn't ask for anything in return. <laughs> as long as the gods have a. Shh! We're about to enter the cathedral, and actually, the animal Archon. <laughs> I never specifically said I would enter the cathedral. You are the honorary knight of Mondstadt. They will sure having me tag along would only make them suspicious. Correct. And just as our little friend said, when a non-believer steps onto holy ground, I have never received the favor of the gods in the past. Well, I don't, that's enough about that. While we've been chit-chatting, the abyss- Okay, then we'll just go- I should warn you about one thing. The Church of Favonius wouldn't ignore the matter of the statue. But if they rashly tried anything against the Abyss or also meddling in the affairs of the Abyss, you. about something. Hmm. Uh, of course you wouldn't know anything about that. Huh? You're here to ask about that old story? Well, I didn't... A long time ago, there was nearly every member of the church joined the search for in the church's records, as you might assume. This incident has been called the... Hmm, of course? Uh, nothing? So do you have any other clues? Uh, sorry, Barbara. But we can't tell you about the statue we saw just yet. Like being set outside. It's for your own good. Other strange stories? Mm, not sure. Let me think about what other unusual incidents are in the church's records. Mm. Oh, the, the tyrant final... Oh, this refers to a time of great danger that engulfed old Mondstadt. The place now known as Storm Terrace was many, many years ago. There was a time when balls of fire would rain from the sky whenever anyone approached balls of fire raining from the people at that time believed it was a curse laid down by the god of storms so that this strange phenomenon continued for about a year no one was ever able to solve it it just gradually ceased on its own. right later the theory of the tyrant's final fury became less probable in the eyes of the church common perhaps it was something else that caused the disaster anyway this incident might not be related to the lost statue. It's okay. There's that pointless word, thank you, again. Oh, Rosaria. If you're looking for the Knights of Favonius, they're busy with those monsters. Uh, those monsters? Those monsters that tried to attack Mondstadt last time. Wasn't that the Abyss Order? Indeed. Their gathering in Wolvendom caused... Could it be that the Abyss Order is targeting the spirit of Lupus Boreas? <laughs> Master Jean has already headed off to Wolvendom. I must also begin. Master Jean. But you're also 
a member of the right. We'll go give Nas. Oh, okay, but please, everyone, be careful. <laughs> I see. This could very well have something to do with the defiled. But what is the Abyss Order going to woven them for anyway? No, that's unlike Osile, who was just suppressed. Andreas died long ago. Today, it is just his spirit that stands guard over Wolven. The Abyss Herald may just be targeting the spirit of Andreas in an attempt to garner some information from one of the Animo. <sighs> the closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. Yeah. I'm... Huh? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fussy animals? It has nothing to do with wolves. It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly became a servant of the Seven. I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't... Besides, you're the one people like. I'm... less likable. I have no problem interacting with people. It's just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around God. You shouldn't place too much trust in them. But at the same time, don't go too far in the opposite direction. Even if the God in question is your sworn enemy. Don't trust them and don't hunt them. That's some awkward advice. <laughs> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears, I will tell you one final fact. The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. Well, enough chit-chat. We should get back to business. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and keep your visit with Boreas brief. Upset? What a strange man. True, you also keep your guard up against unfamiliar go- At the Rite of Dissension in Lyue, your suspicion was very similar to what gained would do. Ah, <sighs> not the- Honorary Knight, Paimon, what are you two doing here? Oh, Master Chi, Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss- so Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. They have surrounded Wolvendom. I am preparing to say I just scouted out all of Wolvendom. Rosaria told me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas, but the Abyss Order and Boreas... What is the connection between them? They just like to cause trouble. The Abyss Order already went after Devalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archon's buddies. Hmm, that is true. Regardless, whether the reason behind the present threat is clear, Honorary Knight, Please go and check if Luke, this god's spirit. He does not often see people, but I hear that you have met him before. Maybe it is best that you are also the one to meet him this time. Okay, be careful. Thank you for your help, honor- Sir, and the Abyss Herald. You, not welcome here. <laughs> so. You claim to be a guardian, yet your once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can... Lies. Lies. What the heck is this ceremony? They're... Oh no, is this the same thing they did to corrupt Devalin's mind? Wolves never surrender, but this can't go on. No matter how many... Everybody stand by! Evil conquering! Tear! Tear! Worthless! 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 Tear! Ancient power. Useless. Come 
with the big pop. Let's light it up. Barbados, guide us. old spirit have such determined will no matter this is but a sm it disappeared thank you you came just in time human lubacol i am ashamed that you must see me in my present state but still the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial, but scary outsider, not respect trial rules. I too didn't see the trial. Wait, so you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? Thank you. In the future, my claws must get sharper. You smelled... No, we heard about the danger. Paimon's nose doesn't even know it did... Besides coming to help, we actually have something to... Ah, uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. Though there was indeed one human-made machine that I can never forget. It entered into my proving ground by accident, and but it could not think, only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm. By the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field tiller. Missiles. I do not know this strange word. As I... It could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fireballs. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than he- Fireballs? He anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? Sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know, but did we help? We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. Yes, I smell more danger. You too. Also, be careful. Well, that was some good intel. Quick, let's go tell Dane. I saw her, but per as both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she nat- If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her invest- But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. A 
I see. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the- That information combined with a more compre- For example, the old story you told me you heard- Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister. Long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. Ah, Paimon gets it. So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field after it was damaged in the fight with the wolf of the north. It must have won. Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew, boom! It would fire a ton of missiles at them. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before, so they came. It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. Hmm. What do you mean? Huh? You mean? Oh, Paima remembers too. We saw that abandoned ruin guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. This requires another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use, but let me give it a try. And done. Wow! It's... The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The all of the Ruin Guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, it's com- Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is pla- And if the limbs of Osail, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, and this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Yes. Th then, what should we do with this eye? No. I'll guard it myself. Huh? You? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hand. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius... Oh! <laughs> but our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. We can't have the Church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean... Oh, destroy it? That's a statue of the seven! As well as being a... Oh, well... Good thing we didn't tell Barbara... Huh. Do the seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this... Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. <laughs> you sense correct. You are just as vexatious as ever. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Oh, and something far more taint than we are the same. We're both dangerous. But taint... It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! Barbados! Come into being! Feel the same. 
ancient tower. Let's light it up. Yeah, I'm going in. Evil conquering. Tear. Worthless. Worthless. Tear. Worthless. Worthless. Tear. Tear. Useless. Burst forth. Let's light it up. Hear me. Barbados, guide us. Lumine, why are you with Dane? Uh huh. Your brother knows Dane? <gasps> Ether, we meet again. Uh, what's going on here? Dane knows him too? You shouldn't team up with this man. He is my enemy. Ether. But it must be said. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the Abyss. That man Dainsliff was the Twilight Sword. One of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 500 years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him. To forever wander the wilderness. While he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into the monsters of the Abyss. From Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh, and the whole thing about Dane being your enemy. Oh, what? Home. Yes, of course. Home is wherever we are together, but I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Listen to me, Lumine. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. So 
and we'll meet again. Though we need not rush, sister. I have more than enough time to wait for you. We have always had enough time. Hey, Fire. Oh, don't be too sad. We'll find them again. Look on the bright side. At least we got some really useful information. Really? Are you sure? At least now, as well as the seven, game is also a key part of finding your sibling too, right? That's right! Um, by the way, what they said just now is all pretty confusing. Did you understand it at all? Oh, well then... First off, that Abyss Herald called your brother a prince. It seems like your brother is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to him. Still, we don't know... Also, your brother said that he wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Couldn't... Next thing, turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. And Dane is from Conria, too! He witnessed this destruction 500 years ago! So that's why your brother said that Dane is his enemy, right? But if the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, also, how come after all this time we've spent searching for your brother, it turns out he's on the side of the Abyss? What's up with that? Yeah, you're right. Then... We can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your brother wants you to reach the end of your journey, show him what you made. Come on, Captain. Let's go. It's a and without